Well, g'day guys and welcome back to another David Maxwell golf video. Today I have a what's in the bag video for you guys and believe it or not I actually went through and I thought that I'd recorded this whole thing only to realize that I forgot to push records. <laughs> it kind of makes me feel a little silly but today I'm going to be running through my bag from all of the wedges right through to the driver. Um, there's a lot of new clubs in there. I've changed it quite a lot and I feel like I'm really happy with the way that it is at the moment and the place that it's at. So I've got the awesome golf app here. I've got the Garmin R10. I'm just going to run through the wedges, the irons and the driver, obviously, and uh, have some shots and see how we get on. So let's just start by turning the screen recording on. Three, two, one, go. Um, so the screen recording's on. This lav is on. I know a couple of you guys have been saying that I should get a lav mic to help with the audio. I hope it helps. I've got it on. Um, I have used it before, but it was a bit crackly, so that's why I didn't use it, but I'll try it again. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll, we'll just be going old school. Um, gonna go to approach shots and play golf. So let's start with the wedges. So the wedges, I absolutely love these wedges. So these are the Vokey SM8 wedges. So I'm sure you guys can see them there, but basically I have 46, 52, and 58 in the SM8 wedges, um, the 40, 46 degree is just a 10 F, uh, the 52 is a 12 F, and the 58 is an eight bounce uh, M grind. So I really, really love these wedges, especially the pitching wedge. So the pitching wedge was uh, the first time I've ever gone into a, a fully traditional wedge rather than an iron that's in a wedge set, if that, if that makes sense. And I think it's the best thing that I've ever done. So uh, this goes about 118 to 120. Um, I'm just going to hit that 110 mark because that's probably the closest one, I think. Uh, let's go 115. And from here, I'm just going to hit some shots for you guys. You can see that my clubs are out because, like I said, I had already filmed this only to realise it wasn't recording. Good on me. We're going. I'm not, I'm not used to the lab and I, I should have tucked it in, but then it means my shirt's got to be untucked. And I don't like that. All right. So the ball's here, we're going for that 115 green, pitching wedge. What do we got there? A little further, 126, it's a nice wedge. You get this over the right way. Take a little bit off it. So basically that's the wedges and I'm bringing it nice and close so you guys can get a look. Loki SM8 all the way through the 58 degree end grind. Next is going to be my eyes. So these bad boys. I have these, which is a tailor made, a tailor made, the Titleist 620 MBs um, from seven, eight, and nine. Now, I have cavity backs from six through to four, but these are absolutely sensational. I love that they've got a blade. I feel like I'm so much more accurate with a blade. Um, I did have the P790s, if you guys had seen those, and they're fantastic clubs, but I just couldn't get on with them. I felt like they get stuck in the, in the ground a lot more, and I was pulling them left a lot. Um, something having no offset. It looks like that is sensational. So let's go for the target, which will go 150 target somewhere. 151, might have to put that in the shade. All right. This, this thing will definitely be under the shirt next time. The 151, 7-iron in hand. pretty well one forty six a little short didn't quite get it but pretty well one thing I will say is my irons are traditionally locked so the seven iron is 34 degrees not 31 like most people these days so basically an eight iron for most people yeah 
How's that one looking? Almost the same ball. Hang on. And I haven't really warmed up. I've only hit a couple of shots, so this will get to that 150 mark. <coughs> Just takes the operator to get warm. And that's a bit better. Cool. So, seven iron done. Now, when we go into the CB iron, so basically these puppies, the 620 CBs, I find absolutely amazing. When I started hitting them from the six iron, I thought I could have done with a whole set of these, and I absolutely love them. Four iron goes about 180. Um, it is 24 degrees a lot, so traditionally lofted, most people fly fine. Let's hit it. That was hit pretty well. Uh, a little bit fady, but hit it well. 184. One more. Didn't hit that one well. Maybe I did. Well, I didn't think I hit it well. 185. I don't think I'm going to better that. We might as well stop. Oh. There goes the lab. This just dropped out. <laughs> this is why I don't like the lab, but I'm going to drive for you guys. Okay. All right. Next one is I have a three iron that's there. It's in the bag, but it's not necessarily in the bag yet. It's not mine. I haven't committed to it, but I've been given it to try because I need something to go that 195 distance. So I'm just going to try and aim for the same pin and I'm expecting to be over the back. Um, let's see if it can get there. It is a little bit older. It's a 712 CB, so still a Titleist CB. Um, it has an extra stiff shaft in it and it is a dynamic gold to it issue, whereas the others are 125 gram Project X LZs, which I love. So let's give this a go. Got the rights today, but you can see there's, I didn't hit that that well, it's a bit better distance control. That was struck really well. There we go. So that hits that gap. That hits that 197 gap for me on the carry. Um, which is the gap between that and the next club, which is a Sim 2 2 hybrid. So this thing is a weapon. I absolutely love it. I have a stiff shaft in it because I want it to go high. I want it to spin more, which it does. And it does it very well. So Let's rejig this to maybe the 206 screen there. And see how we fare. This should probably almost fly the screen. So we'll give it a go. That was hit well. And yeah. But we can see, right? So you can see 216 carry, 230 total. There is another green, actually. 229. We'll give this one a go. That's going to go right. But we'll see if the distance is there. Yeah, so 213 carry, which is definitely fitting that gap with a 3 iron and we'll be tucking this lab in next time let's go one more that was struck well perfect so 218 carry running out to 235 10 meters from a 230 pin which is fantastic yeah 
Now, my, my favorite club in the bag is this. The big dog, the tailor-made sim, absolutely love it, but the shaft comes into it a lot, which is the TPT uh, 15 LKP LTLW. I think this is between 75 and 82 grams in the shaft, extra stiff. It is meant to be swung hard. Um, I've got it set now in eight degrees, which I found has lowered my spin, and I've got further distance out of it. So let's have a crack at this. Should go about 260 odd uh, total. So we got about 260 pin. 252. Let's have a crack at this pin. It's 252. I might need to move the mat down a little. That's a bit dry. 250. Not bad. What was the swing speed? 106. So, best swing of the driver. The swing speed. Hopefully this is picking that up. The camera keeps turning off with the heat. Now let's go one more with the driver. Swing speed 109, spin 29, a little high. More to a little low, but we've hit that one close. So 252, which is really good. I might just go one more for the camera in case it didn't pick up the other one. And we're really going to try and unleash on this. So we've had three drives. Let this one get to that one 12 kind of mark. I didn't get it. Strong hard, but I didn't get it. They're actually they're pretty good. And arguably the most important club which you guys may not have seen this club. I did a review on this club earlier in the year and it was the Ping Answer 4. However, it was a blade and then I came from a spider. I went to a blade because I like the look of it. And then I was pulling parts, even though it was a great putter, nothing wrong with a putter, it was me, my style. Pulling the parts and then I went back to a spider, loved the spider. Went back to a blade which was a tailor made that you would have seen in the other video. That tailor made was fantastic as well, but it lasted three rounds in my bag because I kept doing the same thing. I kept pulling them. So I know personally for me, I'm better off with a mallet. So I've gone back to the ping time four with a mallet. And this thing is amazing. I've been nailing putts like I haven't done before, uh, except using, you know, the spider or mallet style putter. Um, and I don't seem to have those alignment issues that I did with a blade, especially on the four or five footers. Um, so this thing, blacked out shaft, looks awesome. Absolutely love the grip that Pinger put on these as well. And this is going to be staying in the bag for quite a while. Clearly a mallet style player. Um, I've proven that to myself on a course at least. And I absolutely love this thing. So that will be staying in the bag. Um, anyway guys, we are nearing on a thousand subscribers, which is our first thousand subscribers, which is super exciting for me. I know it's not big in the YouTube world, but I really like it. And I'd love your support. If you could just click that subscribe button, click the like button, leave a positive comment, and uh, you know, be excited for all the future content that I'm gonna put out because I'm excited for it as well. And so there's my what's in the bag. I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate your support. Thanks everyone.